And now the Alumni Award of Merit recipients for 2015. We begin with Katherine Sachs and Leonard Lauder. Please come to the podium. Good evening, everybody. Kathy, there. Good, great. Hi. I am honored and thrilled to be here tonight. It's just to be able to present this award to Kathy is sort of the highlight of my day, my week, and my year. Um, before I came here, uh, my wife and I were at a dinner in Washington, D.C., and uh, at the end of the dinner, they had a singer singing God Bless America. And we all listened, and I looked around the table, and there were three men crying. Two of them were crying, of course, because it was very moving, and crying for liberty. I was the third guy crying. I cry. I cry two times, or three times. I cry when I hear that song. I cry at Briss's, and I, and, and, and I cry when I hear the red and blue. And so, prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> because I owe Penn everything. They allowed me to be me, and they, and they brought me out, and everything that I've done since graduating from Penn, I owe to Penn. And so it is for all of us here. We do realize that other people paid for our helped pay for our education, naming the buildings, et cetera, et cetera, giving the, uh, the, uh, the endowments. We owe it to them, and we owe it who didn't know us at all. And so there's a lot we have to be thankful for. So that's my introduction to the person that I'm proudest of, Kathy Sachs. Why? I met Kathy uh, when she first uh, took on the, the, the chairmanship of the ICA Museum. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's the Institute of Contemporary Arts. It, the, the ICA is a great museum, and Kathy formed a partnership with the then the director, Claudia Gould, who is here with us tonight, I think. Claudia, are you there? Okay, the, uh, Claudia now has, uh, has a job as the director of the Jewish Museum in New York City, one of the great museums in uh, New York. The two of them formed a partnership, and they built that museum incredibly. But Kathy's main ambition was not just ICA, her main ambition was to bring the arts to Penn and bring it, them to a level that they've never seen before, and how can she do it? I remember we, we had a conversation, and the first, uh, her first stop was at then, well, then Vice Provost Peter Kahn. There, there was no rest for Peter. And for those of you who know Kathy, for 10 years she served as the ICA chairman and for 10 years, Peter and his successors dealt with this woman who wanted to build the arts in Penn in a way that there is no university in the nation that has the importance of the arts today. So it's Kathy Sachs who has brought this to life. And they gave me her CV. There were 48 mentions of what she's done. And all of them came under one category. She brought the arts to life in Penn. And Kathy, you will be receiving a little rosette that I wear. By the way, I wear this so I can talk to people about my favorite subject, which is Penn. And they, someone says, well, you know, I have a third cousin who has 1,000 on his SATs. You think you can help? I say, I don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Leonard. I would not be standing here tonight if it weren't for you, so I am deeply, deeply grateful. More about that later. Congratulations to all the other honorees, and thank you to Penn alumni. When I was told I would be receiving this honor, I figured it had to be art-related. 
and I began to think about where my appreciation for art began. I was raised in a home where music and art were very important. My parents were friendly with many of the greatest classical musicians of the day, and I saw and felt the exposure quite evident in their performances. I learned then that art involves risk-taking and that it is powered by the need for self-expression, and I knew how valuable that was. I became chairman of the ICA Board of Overseers in 1999, and I saw then that even though Penn had world-class museums, excellent art history, music, design, communication, and collaboration between these different departments was limited. Their cumulative impact was not being realized. It became my goal to raise the visibility of the arts at Penn. It was not easy, and I did not do it alone. First, there was Leonard. You have been a mentor and a friend, and your guidance and support have been invaluable. Thank you. Claudia Gould, who became director of the ICA a year after I became chair, made ICA one of the best contemporary art venues in the world. As Leonard said, we were a really good team. Amy Sedow, ICA's current director, is integrating ICA even more into the fabric of the university. Thank you, too, to the provost's office, to Karen Beckman and her colleagues in art history for their advocacy, and to Josh Mosley and Penn Design for their amazing hires in the fine arts department, and there are many, many more. I also want to thank a bunch of Penn alumni, my family, especially my husband, Keith. We met at Penn. Our first date was the Supremes concert, February 1967. All that I may have accomplished here could never have happened without his support and excellent advice. This is truly a wonderful honor, but what it means to me is that the arts have become even more valued for the significant role they play in a Penn education. The arts help us to visualize, think creatively, and expand our perspectives and understanding of the world. Art is a universal language that allows us to gain insight into other cultures, and now, more than ever, that is crucial. But most importantly, it is the purest expression of our humanity, and that is what connects us across the globe. The dream of 17 years ago that the arts at Penn would be integral and not extracurricular is more real every day. And look, they've even become the theme for homecoming weekend. Thank you all very, very much. <laughs>